On experts, let's play Fallout 4. My name's David, and I will be guiding you on your journey today. We're going to be starting a new game from scratch. Go right through the whole game as best we can. As always, got my sweet tea, got my cigarettes ready to go. A little green in the system. Does the body good. As we await the loading of the exposition train. Fallout 4. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather serving in the army. Wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife. It's a wish. When the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, Something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, Exhilarating, people exciting stuff. The American dream. Look at them kids playing, those people Years running. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The 50s are so awesome. The entire world unraveled. Till the damn Chinese came and ruined Peace it all. Became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. Afraid for myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war, war never changes. Never, ever, ever, ever fucking changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hun. You think? Damn straight. If I could Absolutely. ever get to that veterans get hall. Get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Oh, let's see here. How do we want him to look? Just change that nose up. Point it down, point it up, around. Uh, that's fine. Such a cute nose. Give him big chin. Yeah, let's give him a big chin. Well, hello, like the crimson man. chin. Another such nonsense. Oh, droopy mouth. Sneaky upward mouth. Yeah. Such a great smile. Let's 
thin you out a little bit. Ooh. Not bad. Not bad. Let's change the color though. Pale blue. Here we go. Sean totally has your eyes. He better. If he has someone else's eyes, I'm gonna be mad. Better look just like me, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, let's find the right hair for this dude. No. We got up top. Boot camp! There we go. Boot camp haircut. Uh, make him look like an old grandpa. Someone with bad jeans. Ombre. Eh. No. No. Eh, looks kind of like Trevor. GTA 5. Hmm, what to go with, what to go with. Yeah, let's do hmm, that. This new haircut's really working for me. Bleached. Oh, there's more. Make him a ginger. Mm. Yeah, nice haircut. Blonde. I clean up pretty nice. It's the kind of facial hair we can put on him. Daddy O. <laughs> the suave. The man's man. The dashing rogue. There we go. Yeah, let's go with that. Beard. Okay. I like it. Uh, no, don't need any of that. Nice and muscular, so you can beat up all the fucking rad roaches. I think we're done. Now I can begin wandering around here in the wasteland. That isn't wasted yet. I'll well, we'll see you later, baby. Later, baby. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. One hundred and seventy-three point five degrees Fahrenheit. To perfection. And Thanks, Kazuwa. Of course, sir. Yeah, got me some coffee. Got some sugar bombs. Breakfast cereal. That's some stupid shit on the television. Got a Voltag van outside my door. What's this all about? Look at them over there across the street talking to them, asking them if they want some Voltag. See how this goes down. See all the action going across the street. Damn straight he does. What's this Vault Tech guy want outside? 
I don't possibly know. Mr. Voltec, what do you want? Would you like to speak with me? Or are you busy over there trying to seduce Jim's wife? Jim wouldn't like that too much. Oh, he's done over there. I wonder where he's going to go next. My money's on. He's coming over here. Get some big papa. Get some big papa, boy. Come here. Come here. I'll open the door. You best knock on it. Knock on it, bitch. Knock on that fucking door. Yeah, I can get it. What's Good up, motherfucker? Voltec calling. Voltec. Voltec. Remind me again. Why we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Voltec is be. the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Hell Vaults, yeah! If you will, luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency. I assure you. Like next ten minutes, urgency. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. <laughs> nice fake smile there. No idea. Now I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Damn straight I am. I'm being a, uh, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country. You have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Whoop de fucking do. One eleven. Sounds great. Sounds Sign great. me up to die. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen Travel events. Travel two hundred years into the uh, future. Total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Come on, hurry the fuck up. Now I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Ha 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 my name is uh, I don't know, what is my name? Let's go with David. Easy enough. And what do I want here? See what's important to me. Strength, raw physical power, carry in the mount of all melee attacks. Hmm. Accuracy, health. Let's get one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. Four's all around. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds like a good place to start. Just average fucking Wonderful. David here. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this Ready over to, to the begin vault. my adventure into the falls out. prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Shit like that is why <laughs> you're gonna answer. get a bullet in your head. I have my moments. As if I knew. Mr. David, Sean has been changed. Absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. Paternal affection? What? You didn't try you shaking him first? Go on. God, Codsworth. It's like you don't even want to help. Hey there, baby. Let me play with you. Gucci, you, Gucci, you fucking you. In my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Yeah, spin that fucking mobile. That mobile. You like that, don't you, creepy baby? Yeah, creepy baby, you like that. Yeah. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah.